Hi everybody, this is Donnie Vaughn. Uh, this tutorial is going to show you how to edit an existing page. In this case, I've chosen the We Are the Sermon page just to show you how to, uh, to do a simple edit. Um, first, you want to go to the dashboard, go over to Pages, and click on All Pages or however you can get there. There's a couple of ways. You can search for, you know, you can go up and down and scroll down here. One key thing is that there are several uh, in this case two pages worth of pages so if you get to the bottom and you think where's my page you have to go down here and scroll down to the two of two and you can see that we are the sermon the other way to do it is up here you could put in like say sermon and search and it will more likely bring up still thinking here um, bring up yeah, here's so so here's all the pages that have the word sermon somewhere in them. In this case, we are the sermon is the page, so I always click on the name of the page to edit it. Okay, so you can see we have uh, the graphic here, and again, when we're talking about editing pages, we're talking about the area, and I'm going to highlight it just so you can see it. It's this area right here. All right, all that in here. This area over here is considered a sidebar area and that's a different thing so if there's something you want to change on that you probably need to reach out to us so we can show you how that works or what we can do to get that changed but what we're talking about is here so let's say for instance um, we want to change this for next year okay next year let's say we are the sermon is on April 15th so what we do is we go to the page first things first is you want to update your graphic in this case, uh, we've, I think we've shown this before in other tutorials, but you would just upload your new graphic. You would eliminate this. Just click on this and delete. Um, sorry about that. You could delete your image and then upload a new graphic and you'd be good to go. And I'm going to keep that on there for now. Uh, but let's say then you want to go in there and say, all right, we want to change this date to be the 15th. You simply change it there. If you decided uh, one of the things that was not uh, as noticeable this year was the um, where it was located at or something like that wasn't, or maybe the, the date wasn't bold enough. So we can go in there and highlight this and bold it. And we can even underline it. We don't want to get too crazy with formatting, but you could do some different things with that. Um, so just make any changes that you want to make. And then you simply update the page. And when you do that, when you go to update the page, you can see now that the date is highlighted and uh, it's bolded just like we did here now for the sake of this I'm going to go ahead and put all this back the way it was so we can make sure nothing's changed on that but that's really how you edit the page uh, what you want to do is make sure that when you go and make the change update the page um, you should be good to go from there now one thing I'll show you real quickly and if you don't see this, this is a key thing. Up at the top of the screen, you can see this little gray box that says Screen Options. Click the down arrow. All these little fields show up. One of the things that you can click is Revisions. Okay, and then you can push this to kind of close it back. What you're going to see down here is a little box that showed up here called Revisions. All right, so it's this little area right down here. Now what you've got here is if you ever make a change, and then realize, oh my goodness, I shouldn't have made that change. How do I put it back? I can't remember what was on the screen. I've changed it now. I can't remember what was up there. Sometimes you get lucky because you haven't updated your browser yet. So you could always look at what's on the browser to know what the change was. But in some cases, you update your browser. And then you realize, oh man, all of the stuff that I've changed was, I changed was wrong. I need to put it back, but I can't remember what it was. And now I'm panicked. And what do you do? Well, that's what this revisions is good for. Because if you'll notice, it's got different dates. These are the latest times that we revised it. These are the ones that we're working on right now. But before that, it was April 5th. So if I wanted to, if I had messed something up dramatically in this particular edit process, I could always go back and hit April 5th because that was the last time we updated the page, which was what it was when we came to it today. A lot of gobbledygook stuff here, but what you really want to come down here is this. The new page was here. The old page was here. We want to come down here to the word restore. And if we hit restore, it brings it back up to here. You hit update. And then when you update it, it brings it back to exactly the way it was before you left. 